can vision language models or llms replace traditional ocr so omni ai has released this ocr benchmark where they are using structured outputs to evaluate ocr accuracy so what they have done is that they've run a benchmark evaluating ocr accuracy between traditional ocr providers and vision language models it is run with a wide variety of real world documents including all the complex messy low quality scans you might expect to see in the wild the evaluation data set and methodologies are entirely open source they are available on their uh, repository uh, you can run the benchmark for yourself the you can view the raw data from the benchmark in the hugging face repository um, so here you have these uh, images okay um, then how are they doing this comparison right so they have evaluated two categories of ocr providers traditional ocr like azure aws extract google document ai and multimodal language models like gemini 2.0 flash gpt4 cloud sonnet gpt4 mini okay so what they are doing over here is that their primary goal is to evaluate json extraction from documents what they do is that the on a document they run the ocr model get the ocr result and then they pass it to a evaluation model which is a gpt4 o what this does is that uh, they also pass a json schema so based on this schema plus ocr result uh, it actually uh, predicts a json now this json is compared with ground truth json to get a json accuracy so basically you do ocr you get the text from the text you extract a structured uh, json and that structured json is compared against ground truth json for an accuracy okay that is what they are doing over here so how are they measuring accuracy if your input json has certain number of fields um the basically the ground truth json and they calculate the json differences between your uh, predicted json and the ground truth json on the num total number of fields for example if your document has 31 values right your ground truth json has 31 values from a document uh, the when you are extracting and you get the json there is four mistakes present in it then uh, the accuracy is 87% that is what they are saying over here okay so this uh, what they are saying is that this kind of calculation is much better than looking at text similarity metrics like you know directly taking the ground truth text and comparing with the output using something like levenstein or ad distance because in this approach what happens is that if there is a positional change in the way the information is extracted and it is slightly different from ground truth then it kind of penalizes even though semantically the content is same okay so that is why they go on for this structured uh, accuracy measurement uh, like accuracy measurement on structured data so what are their observations from this uh, benchmark so their observation is that you know uh, your vision language models um, they matched or exceeded most traditional ocr providers okay and they evaluated 10 most popular providers on 1000 documents um, so visual language models are better at documents with charts or infographics handwriting or complex input fields check boxes highlighted fields they are also more predictable on photos and low quality scans they are generally more capable of looking past the noise of scan lines creases watermarks etc so that's on low quality scan documents traditional models tend to outperform on high density pages like textbooks or research papers as well as common document formats like tax forms okay there is also content policy which affects uh, vision language model performance for example gpt4 o will refuse to process images of photo ids or passports for example you know it says i cannot do that if there is a uh, personally identifiable information okay so when they did this uh accuracy measurement on on the json this thing they found out that you know models like gemini 2.0 flash are better than say a traditional or almost equivalent to a traditional ocr provider like azure okay a uh, gpt4 o is uh, almost uh, better than say aws textract right cloud sonnet is better than document <laughs> google document ai so this is on the 1000 uh, documents and here if you look at it they say their uh, omni ai omni ocr solution is much better than everything else okay but if you look at llm versus other providers you see over here is that gemini 2.0 flash is slightly better than your azure ocr as your document intelligence okay so this is the results and when it comes to cost over here when they calculated cost per 1000 pages for ocrs you have this uh, traditional ocrs they just give you a cost for 1000 page basis right for example azure it is 10 dollars uh, for aws extract it is 4 dollars for 1000 pages uh, similarly when they did a similar calculation for the vision language models again the vision language models are quite cheaper over here okay gemini 2 point flash is cheaper than 10 aws extract closer to google document ai gpt4 o mini is much more cheaper right than the other llms or traditional ocr providers okay and but if you look at processing time per image the vlms will take 
more time depending upon the number of words on a page whereas your azure aws text text are much more optimized for this particular task okay so what does this mean if you want to look at whether i want to go for ocr for a document or i want to go for an llm for a document to extract text okay the first thing is that uh, with llm extracting text you lose some positional information okay so if your downstream task depends upon positional information for example you want to go back to a document and mask a certain region based on the position of the word over there then traditional ocrs are better because they give you bounding box and all those things whereas these visual language models are very good at adapting to newer formats right with complex infographics and writing or uh, complex input fields then uh, visual language models are much more better so again it depends on the application you need to choose a traditional ocr or a visual language model okay another thing with visual language model is that there is always a chance of hallucination when compared to traditional ocrs okay so with respect to visual language models you have issues like for this handwritten data right the ground truth is higher whereas gemini and gpt4 v mistakes this higher word to be history or something else okay so this kind of an issue uh, hallucination is possible with your uh, visual language models with traditional ocrs hallucinations are not possible yes you might have spelling errors coming up or a wrong detection but hallucination will not happen in terms of generating totally new words which are not present in the document right and what they are saying is that uh, the, um, the, uh, it's a effort for an open source evaluation for ocr providers they will continue to evaluate and update this benchmark as new providers will be released okay and what they are saying is that to maintain a fair benchmark each new evaluation will be carried out with a novel document data set okay this prevents the providers from training specifically on the evaluation data set so you can go and check out this benchmark on their uh, get a page over here you can run the benchmarks basically over here you can get the data set from hugging face okay and you can uh, test your models over on this particular data set as well so this is a short video about the ocr benchmark from omni trying to answer the question whether llms can be a total replacement for traditional ocr models i don't believe they are still a replacement for traditional ocr models but they are cost effective they are good at certain document formats and layouts so you need to evaluate for your problem whether you know llms are better or traditional ocr models are better hope this video was useful see you in another video